Hey, you know what I'm talking about, man? It's your partner, man. Who? It's your partner, man. You know what I'm talking about? How is y'all doing on this shady stuff Saturday? You say shady stuff Saturday? What are you talking about, man? You know what I'm talking about? We're going to get into it. But before we do that, we good people like he he ha ha. You know what I'm talking about? Ken in the pen. You know what I'm talking about? All my folks incarcerated, all my folks who ain't, man. Everybody on the bottom of that thing. Everybody on the top of that thing, man. Keep that head up. You know what I'm talking about? Keep pushing. We going to get through it to get to it, man. You know what I'm talking about? Did I say Ken in the pen? I don't know, but if I didn't, go get that stick up at the stores now, man. You can go and get you one off of 76 MacArthur Giants Lick is what I'm talking about. You know what I'm talking about? Hey, you say Hillside Barbershop. You know what I'm talking about, man? Hey, say somebody putting them in their stores in the hundreds. Thank you, young man. Now you know, because I tell you every morning, you, know, you come get them from me. You, oh, man, I mean, that wasn't even no spread, was it? You can come get them from me, you know what I'm talking about? Sprinkly system on, you know what I'm talking about? Also in stores now. Funk or die trying, you know what I'm talking about? Make sure you go get you one. But if all else fails, and I mean if all else fails, man, you can go grab you one of them things off of Amazon. Make sure you copy your hardback, you know what I'm talking about? Uh-oh, what's that? Swing that finger, young man, you know what I'm talking about? Come on, y'all, you know what I'm talking about? Come on with it, bro. Ooh, come on with it, bro. Worldwide INC, man. Come on, go fast, bro. Worldwide Incorporated, you know what I'm talking about? Go fast, bro. Oh, worldwide. You know what I'm talking about? They're going to say, what does that mean? I'm going to tell you it means everybody. You know what I'm talking about? Hey, everybody's included, man. You know what I'm talking about? And Dugu, Mike, Cutthroat, uh, Lil Ru, not Lil Rube, Lil Ru. You know what I'm talking about? Ta Ta the player. That's who comes next. Same thing, bro. Everybody on the bottom of that thing. Everybody on top of that thing, man. You know what I'm talking about? Keep that head up, you know what I'm talking about? Keep pushing. We're going to get through it to get to it, man. Now, let's get through these disclaimers. But before we do that, my mama said, my mama always says, boy, rest the whiskers before you get, get on TV, boy. When you have to on TV, boy, rest the whiskers. Even if they got a hole in my heart, there ain't even a hole no more. Y'all see that, boy? That, 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 that's white hair. You know what I'm talking about? Bro, came back on you, didn't you? Told you you got to have faith. You know what I'm talking about? I don't hear nobody. We have a team mess there. Ain't you know, no more of that stuff. You know what I'm talking about? Team mess there. You know what I'm talking about? Happen to your bitch. You know what I'm talking about? That's all whole nother story. But uh, where was I at y'all? Uh, oh yeah, we are gonna get through these disclaimers now. Good bell like myself. Good bell like myself. I don't promote no drug usage. No, no, no. You know what I'm talking about? Good bell like myself. I don't promote no drug sellage. No, no, no. You know what I'm talking about? Good bell like myself. You know what I'm talking about? I don't promote no alcohol consumption. No, no, no. You know what I'm talking about? Don't take a sip. I mean, not a sip of the sippage. Y'all see this, man? They say, bro, you got a boom right there, man. That's how you cover the hole in the couch. He you know what I'm talking about? Hats. He you know what I'm talking about? No, no, no. Uh, go bear like myself. I don't promote no crime. He you know what I'm talking about? No, no, no. Hang a red like myself. I don't promote no violence. He you don't know talk about no, no, no. Red like myself. I don't promote no domestic violence. No, no, no. Keep your hands off the people. People. He don't talk about. I he don't talk. I don't. He don't promote. He don't talk about no negativity. No, no, no. He don't talk about no, baby, baby. I don't promote shit. He don't talk about. They was talking to me. Man, I don't promote shit. He don't talk about. All I promote is y'all go ahead and do what you're going to do with your time, young ladies and gentlemen. Make sure you find the right thing to do with your time, young ladies and gentlemen, because we just don't know how much of it we got, young ladies and gentlemen. But he could bread like myself, man. I ain't prejudiced. No, no, no. He don't talk about good bread like myself. I ain't got nothing against the sexually different, man. No, no, no. He don't talk about good bread like myself. <laughs> I ain't got nothing against the little people. He don't talk about no, no, no. He don't talk about be bad. I ain't got no problems with nobody, man. They was talking to me, man. I just love me some everybody. He don't talk about. Matter of fact, I'm on a quest. He don't talk about bringing that peace. He don't talk about that joy. He don't talk about that love. He don't talk about that love. Back to YouTube community, man. You with me? Come on over here, fuck with your partner, man. Hey, hey, hey check it out. Psst, psst, psst. Come fuck with a nigga one time, man. You know what I'm talking about? Man, what's good with the people, man? Man, I almost forgot because it's getting a little later. You know what I'm talking about? Coffee Chronicles. Classic roast. Piping. Hot. He on to my hot. Uh, yeah, we gonna get. Uh, shout out to all the bitches who never ran track at school but walked it when they got older. Him. When did you join the team? Ah, <laughs> 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 oh, I see you, bitch. You know what I'm talking about? Now, look, 
look, man, the days that shady stuff, sorry to say, what you talking about, bro? Hold on, man. This is just, uh, let me fix this fan, man. Let me go give me a towel, pal. You know what I'm talking about? Let me fix that fan, man, and go give me a towel, pal. You know what I'm talking about? Let me fix that fan, man, and go get me a towel, pal. You know what I'm talking about? I ain't gonna say, baby, cuz. Why do you always talk in rhymes? And I'm gonna tell you because your bitch like riddles. <laughs> God damn, man. Call me Chronicles. I just, they, they get tired of my shit, bro. I crack myself up. You know what I'm talking about? Now, the shady stuff Saturday, man. Now, before I even get into this shit, let me explain something to you, man. Because every time you get to talking, motherfuckers get to agree with you. Show you right, brother, and all that other shit, man. Let me explain something to you, bro. This shit I be talking about, when you trace the calls back, it's going to be because of you. So all this shit, shady stuff and all this shit, is going to seem shady and all this shit, bro. But it's always going to end up back on you. Something you should have been paying attention to. Just something you should have did, bruh. So even when you get in one of these shady stuff situations, shady stuff Saturday situations, you know what I'm talking about, bruh? That shit's still going to be on you. So when I get through explaining this shit, don't go around the world trying to be like, yup, yup, that's what bro was talking about right there. Nah, bruh, because it's still on you. Because you either accepted something too long. It, it's just going to be on you, bruh. You get what I'm saying? But now let's get into the shady, shady stuff Saturday, man. Now, first of all, man. While you living, it's going to be, this is what you got to realize too, bro. A lot of that shit is perception. You get what I'm saying? A lot of that shit is perception. So a lot of the shit that you do consider shady and shit, is like you the only one to see it that way, bro. It's like the rest of the world might not see it that way. You get what I'm saying? That's why it's good to, uh, before you even start saying motherfuckers are shady and scandalous and all that, bruh, it's good to, uh, it's always good, bruh, just to go over your part in the situation, folks. It just is. Because I'm going to give you the number one. I'm going to tell you what even prompted this last night. I was sitting here, you know, bruh, uh, I get to smoke some of this stuff right here, man, get to watching them, uh, so I was watching one of these motherfucking series and shit. And, um, they got the big man in jail and shit. You get what I'm saying? This nigga running the whole town type shit. This nigga got a bitch or something. She a stripper. She working the bar or something. So my nigga done sick this bitch on the cop. This is how he trying to beat this case. My nigga done sick this bitch on the cop. You get what I'm saying? And the bitch was down the rock with it. <coughs> Fire power. <coughs> Fire power. So you gotta respect the bitch because the bitch got to fucking with the cop to help the nigga beat the case with it, right? But before that, even it was just a, it was just hella funny because bro, he was really the big man. This nigga was he didn't even need no family visit to fuck. That nigga was fucking on a regular visit. Like, <laughs> that nigga was just, he was the big man. So that nigga had all kinds of special privileges. But the funny thing about that was, before I even get into my point, I'm going a little bit. It's called the Chronicle. Man, this bitch was still trying to put parameters on my nigga. <clears throat> this nigga's a kingpin. Now, this bitch is free. This bitch running around here before she even got to fucking with the cops. She was just fucking with niggas in the bar. You know what I'm talking about? And then this is... You see, bro got excited right there. This is where I get. Before he even sick the bitch on the police. The bitch was running around just fucking random motherfuckers for fun. Just something to do. You know what I'm talking about? Nigga in jail. She was just picking motherfuckers up out the bar fucking them. You get what I'm saying? And when she was doing that, she was still coming up here trying to tell this nigga what he can and what he can't do. <clears throat> he wasn't listening to the shit, but... That part right there was just funny to me. Because even though this shit was on TV, that shit right there happens in real life, for real, like a motherfucker. So you mean to tell me this bitch around here, she just free, she could do anything she wants to, she's doing anything she wants to do. 
That means you need to turn it this way for a brief minute. She's doing anything she wants to. You get what I'm saying? But she's still trying to come up here and tell this nigga what bitch not to talk to. And you better not. <clears throat> now, mind you, this bitch is free. This bitch is picking motherfuckers up out the bar, just going to fucking random, just doing whatever people do in life, right? And she's going up here to jail trying to flex on this nigga. You get what I'm saying? Telling him what bitch he better not. And that shit just, it was funny to me because I could just remember them days. So it brought birth back to them days. When them bitches used to actually do shit like that. You free, you fucking on every time Dick and Harry around here. But you coming up here to visit and talking about I better not find out you talking to this bitch. That's that way a little bit. But that, that's the thing right there now. Mind you, I just told you the bitch was running around here fucking on everybody. I don't know. I'm going to say don't never blow your nose on camera. Sorry, mama. Sorry, mama. Top of the world, mama. Top of the world. You know what I'm talking about? So, mind you, I told you this bitch out here fucking everybody or whatever. So when the nigga trying to put the bitch on the police bitch, this bitch want to argue about that. Like the nigga breaking the bitch, you already out here fucking. Now I need you to go fuck somebody to help me get off this motherfucking death penalty sins or whatever. And you putting up a fight about that. Even though you running around here fucking people around in. I just don't get it. But anyway, bro, I said all that because that shit just bought... All the memories up and shit when I used to go through that type of shit like that there, you know what I'm talking about? Because I'm gonna tell you one of the most scandalous situations, not scandalous, but one of the most uh what I said today was y'all uh, shady situations you can put yourself in. Is that jail, folks. And this just the PCA the nephew sis old man old lady. Nephew sis old man old lady. Hey, what'd you say, bro? Old lady. Hey, you know what I'm talking about? That's the shadiest situation you can never put yourself in, bro. And no matter if somebody told on you, no matter how you got there, bruh, it's always going to be on you how you got there. Coffee Chronicle. Because you can sit there and try to say somebody told on you. <clears throat> but, okay, they told on you, but what was you doing for them to tell? It's always going to be your fault, bruh. Even though we try to blame that shit on everybody else, it's always going to be your fault. But that's the shadiest shit you could ever be in, bruh. Because you just that's the closest thing next to being dead. And I want y'all to listen up. So think twice before you running around out here and y'all doing this shit with it. They'll be carrying the consequences where you might have to go sit down for a few years because you ain't going to want to do it, folks. Because you're going to learn real quick like how many friends you really don't have. You're going to learn real quick all that shit you was out there doing don't mean shit to people. It only meant shit to them at that time you was doing it. Y'all hold on, because this uh this fan blowing on this thing right here, right? And it just cools it off, you know what I'm talking about? How you know Brent needs that piping hot, you know what I'm talking about? Hot, hot. I'll be right back, man. Y'all watch my seat. And I mean, don't let nobody sit in it. Thank you for saving my seat, y'all. Now, see, I'm going to do y'all a favor because I was finna get into all this shit. You know what I'm talking about? You see, you, you got to have that piping hot. You know what I'm talking about? I smoke, I'll be coming off of it. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? Coming off, off, off of it. You know what I'm talking about? 
See, I was, I'm going to do y'all a favor, man. <sighs> because I was going to get all around the world. I was the sis, the bitch ass nigga, the church people. But I ain't even want to do that because I want to drive this point home right here, man, about that jail shit. Because, uh, uh, because I just got a lot of folks that's gone, man. You know what I'm talking about? And I feel they pain. Because I've been them before. You know what I'm talking about? I'm one of them niggas that, uh, <clears throat> started, when the niggas from the turf started going to jail hella early. You get what I'm saying? Me, Z, and them. I think Z was the first one to go to jail. And it's like that nigga went to jail and opened the door for the whole motherfucking turf, nigga. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? They even seen, they even sent green eyes up there, man. You know what I'm talking about? They had hand in Santa Rita. I'm talking about the moment that nigga Z went to jail. It seemed like, nigga, that nigga opened the floodgates for the whole turf to get up out of They was just snatching kids up off the turf, y'all. <laughs> They ain't give a fuck how old you was. They was taking your ass to jail. But I want to hit home on that right there, man. Because I feel them niggas' pain. And I want y'all to understand this, bro. Nephew, sis, old man, old lady. Nephew, sis, old man, old lady. Hey, what you say, bro? Old lady. You know what I'm talking about? I want to hit this point home. So I hope you get it, man. I tell you this all the time. Jail and hospital... It's gonna be like death on earth. Them the two closest places that you can get to alive, <clears throat> where you gonna be dead. That's like being dead on earth, cause don't nobody care, folks. And you need to get this through your head before uh, you out here participating in this shit, nephew, niece, and fool. Y'all need to understand this shit, bro. And I know the way of the world now, so a lot of y'all not even tripping because y'all been hanging around motherfuckers, downloading so many information. The moment the police do pull you over, you got you got an unlimited out of jail free card. You know what I'm talking about? You gonna fuck around and be wearing a badge, or patrolling the ghetto in a minute. You know what I'm talking about? So I know uh, a lot of y'all be standing on that shit right there. But let me tell you something, man. First of all, whatever you're doing to get sent to jail, that's your fault. It is, man. That's your fault. Whatever you was doing, folks. That's why you gotta, uh, sometimes you just gotta understand the consequences before you jump in shit, bruh. Because everything got a, uh, a consequence, even good shit. You're gonna have to sacrifice something, folks. You just is. You're gonna have to sacrifice something to get something. Whether it's time, blood, sweat. You're gonna have to sacrifice something to get something, folks. A lot of times it's gonna be your time. I had to sacrifice time to get common sense. I mean, I didn't. I had to sacrifice time to use common sense. I've always had common sense since a baby. Mm, you know what I'm talking about? But this is what I want you to get, man. First of all, that's the first one. If you even end up in a place like that, it's your fault. The moment. The moment you end up in a place like that, y'all. From that point right there, man, it's time to start reevaluating yourself, bro. It's time to start breaking yourself down. Because you got to understand why you even stand right here in this jail and all this shit, man. You got to, that's the time to start working on yourself, folks. That's the time to start changing your mind. <clears throat> and I don't mean changing your mind because this is the type of shit I used to do. This is why I stayed in jail so long, folks. I go to jail, say I'm selling five pieces. I have told y'all this before, too. I go up in here and come up with another mastermind plan. Like, I'm not going to sell five pieces, nigga. I'm finna get out and sell solids. Get caught up for the solids. You know what, nigga? I'm just finna start selling plug. <clears throat> I came up with every plan, but just stop selling dope. Because every plan I came up with was this. Uh, it was still a, the same consequence behind it. And I ain't talking about that. I ain't talking about go to jail and change your mind for that. Because you can go to jail and even get some new game. But if you ever end up in that situation right there, y'all. That's when it's time to start looking at yourself. And start asking yourself, what the fuck you even want off this life? You get what I'm saying? Because this shit right here ain't it. Because uh, this is the second part of it. What we good for doing as people. You know, the first thing we good for doing is not even blaming ourselves for ending up where we end up at. We looking at everybody else. Because I'm going to tell you what's going to happen when you get there, bruh. You just going to find out everybody don't care. And I told you that, bruh. You're going to find out don't nobody give a fuck. You're going to realize all that shit you did don't mean nothing. That's what you're going to realize. And then this is what we do as people sometimes. Coffee Chronicles. This is what we do as people.
This is how we get the shady stuff Saturday. Because shit sometimes do be shady. <clears throat> and if you just look at the big picture, it do. But everybody got a rationalization. And this is what you got to realize. Because all that shit you was doing when you out there that I told you ain't going to mean shit to people when you get in jail. <clears throat> so shit going to start happening like this. You just paid everybody rent. You was the reason everybody was, you gave everybody some money. You think them people going to send you $10 to even buy some soap deodorant, get you off the ground. They not. So to you, that's going to be shady. But it's really not, bro. That's just the way them people is. So you can't perceive it like that. You just got to take shit as what it is. Because if you don't, you'll end up bitter. You'll end up with a grudge against everybody who you felt didn't look out <clears throat> when you thought they should. Now, I'm going to tell you in real life what really be going on. So you didn't got sent to jail, right? But everybody else just still living their life, folks. So even though you might have did the world for motherfuckers, bro, you just, that's just the person you is. You get what I'm saying? You can't hold people. I mean, you, you, I mean, you can, but like, that's just who they is, bro. That's just who them people is. That's who they always was. You was just moving so fast. <clears throat> you really wasn't paying attention to the way people was. So you might be sitting in that cell, bro. Like, fuck this nigga. Fuck this bitch. Fuck this person. And that's fine and dandy, bro. But you can't even do that. You just got to accept shit for what it is. And the sooner, as people, we could accept shit for what it is, we could, the easier it would be for us to move around this shit, bruh. But right here, I'm just talking about this jail shit, like, wait. Because what we also do as people, and I'm talking about the people that's in jail, we'll sit here, and we'll call all these people shady, they scandalous and all that. <clears throat> but that's just your perception from where you at. Even though you might have did the world for these people. Like, once again, that's just the person you is. You just, you got to realize you're just a good person. You get what I'm saying? And some of these other people just not, they ain't built like that, bro. You know what I'm talking about? But they never was. You get what I'm saying? And like I said, we be just moving too fast and we don't even be seeing that shit. You get what I'm saying? So what ends up happening is all these people who didn't do what you thought they should do for you, <clears throat> you starting to put a label on them. This motherfucker right here, hella scoundrels. This motherfucker right here, shady. This motherfucker right here, bitch ass. You know what I'm talking about? And all that shit might be true, bruh. But at the same time, on earth, them people still living their life. And when you in jail, you don't never really take that into consideration. Like, you the only one that's uh, frozen. <clears throat> everybody else still moving. So you can't even expect everybody to stop what they doing. Even if you would have did it for them. You just got to give them people credit for who they is, bro. You get what I'm saying? But you can't sit there and create your own narrative on them people either. Because <clears throat> on earth, them people going to say, man, whatever you did is just what you did. You get what I'm saying? Everybody else still going to have a family. Everybody else still going to have kids. And it's just, it's just like that, bro. So on the Shady Stuff Saturday, a lot of times we be giving people them labels that uh, this Shady they scandalous and shit. And it might seem that way to you. <clears throat> but them people all just going to tell you they living their life, folks. And I said all that to say, and that's the same reason why you should just live yours. It is, folks. I'm not telling you not to help nobody. I'm not telling you none of that. I'm telling you to uh, just live your life, folks. Because if you ever get in trouble right now, bro, something happened drastic, best believe everybody's still going to be living their life, bro. It takes a special person <clears throat> to fuck with a motherfucker when they going through some shit like that, bro. And it ain't that many special people. Coffee Chronicles. And I'm telling you, bro, what guys love, because I know it takes a special person to fuck with you. I'm talking about any kind of way, bro. It takes a special motherfucker to remember you to send you $15, bro. 
Because when you go to jail, people just don't care, bro. And I ain't going to even say people just don't care. <clears throat> Once again, you frozen and everybody else still got to live life, bro. So you can't hold that shit against people living life. Any, You just got to learn your lessons from that shit. Know what to do and what not to do again when you get your chance, bro. That's all that could come out that shit. You can't come up out that motherfucker holding grudges. You can't come up out that motherfucker. Uh, <clears throat> you just gotta see for what you just gotta see the shit for what it is, folks. If that make any sense, bro. Cause when motherfuckers, uh, cause everybody else still moving, folks. It's like, <laughs> I'm telling you, man. Before I say Coffee Chronicles, it takes a special motherfucker to fuck with you when you're going through your darkest days. Coffee Chronicles. Because a lot of times people going through their own shit and they just don't have time for yours. You feel me? <clears throat> and all I'm saying is, you can't fault them people for that either. So on the shady stuff Saturday, shit just is what it is, folks. But we get too caught up in um, <clears throat> putting labels on people. They scandalous, they fake, they boost... We just get too caught up in that. We don't, uh, because once again, like I say, it's like we are almost kids. It's like when we don't get our way, we throw a tantrum. So it's like the moment somebody don't do something that we want them to do, we get out of it like, you know what I'm talking about, like kids. And we quick to call somebody shady, and this really shady shit go on out there, man. But at the same time, that shit is what it is, bruh. Because you see it as shady. Somebody else gonna, gonna get it. So a lot of that shit, like, that's gonna be, uh, that's gonna be on how you think, folks. The way you label shit is gonna be on, is gonna be on the way, uh, how you think. Just like if somebody told on you and you went to jail, folks, and you sit there and say you went to jail because somebody told on you, that ain't really why you went to jail, folks. It ain't. You went to jail for whatever you was, whatever they told on you doing. That's what you went, you really went to jail for something you was doing. Somebody just helped them catch you. <clears throat> so on the shady stuff Saturday, man, um, cause I ain't gonna lie, we, uh, that's why I say live your life, folks. Don't be so quick to always, uh, Spread yourself thin, folks. You got to spread yourself thin for yourself. For your family, bro. For your surroundings. You get what I'm saying? You just do. Because helping everybody all the time. I, mean, I ain't even say it's cool. If that's the type of person you is, man. Help as many motherfuckers as you want to. If you're not that type of person, don't fuck with nobody. You know what I'm talking about? That shit varies. It is what it is. To each his own. <clears throat> but I'm just telling you, man, just uh, putting yourself, trying to spread yourself thin, putting yourself on the forefront every time, trying to be the good motherfucker. <clears throat> you don't really, uh, I mean, that shit comes on the back end, I keep telling you, folks. You don't really get nothing for that shit. So if you that type of person, it's cool. But if you that type of person to, uh, like, you help people, and then you expect people to do the same shit that you would. And then when they don't, you want to label them. You can't do that, folks. You can't. Just be the good person you is. And let them be the person they is, bro. You know what I'm talking about? Because you didn't have to do it. But once again, once you get the tracing shit back, everything going to be on you. That's why it's best by uh, as early as you can, bro. To just realize you're going to lead this motherfucker one day. Once you realize that, bro, it might be easier for you to travel through this motherfucker, man. You know what I'm talking about? For real. Because I got uh, I got taught a lot of good lessons. <clears throat> I did. And the shit that I went through. But the best lesson that I ever really taught myself is I'm the one who got myself into all this shit. It's me. And once you just realize it's you, bro. You'll stop, you'll, you'll stop blaming everybody else. But what do I know? Only you could prevent forest fires. And with that one right there, man, the only man.
nothing else. Always remember, it don't cost nothing. Just a little bit of that love.